Okay, so in this question, right, you need to read super carefully. So uh, this girl is going to study in London for one year and she needs to work out how much money in Singapore dollar to cover her living expenses. So because this is a real world context, I will suggest you try to put yourself in the shoe, in the shoe of the person. And because it's a real world context, right, the range of answers can be a lot, provided it's very logical. So she needs some information to help her to work out her expenses. And these are the information she gather. So there's accommodation. So take note, the information here is like uh, 217 pounds per week. The student pass is per month. And the household, uh, like this uh, estimated living costs is per week. So they are dealing with either per week or per month. So you make sure you, you notice the unit. Eventually you're supposed to work out for a year. Okay, so that's another thing. Um, for this exam, right, some students came out from this O-level paper. They, some, okay, we know that this is 12 months. This is not an issue. So some people actually didn't know that, right? One year is 52 weeks. So some people actually didn't know that one year is 52 weeks. So I got some student, right, um, go and use 48 months. So that cohort who came out from exam, right, there will be, there's this, there's this girl who told me it's 48 months. Her idea is one month is four weeks, which is correct. But then, you know, sometimes there are a bit spill over all that. So actually it should be 52 weeks. Okay, but if let's say during exam, you couldn't work this out, right? Okay, I think Shane is the one. Or there's one person go and use 365 days to divide by seven to try to work out the number of weeks. So that is also a correct way. So anyway, it's equivalent to 52 weeks. So it's 12 months and 52 weeks. And then, right, there is this exchange rate, exchange rate. So this one, right, is uh, you've got to use the dotted line to read. Otherwise, it's actually not clear to you. Okay, so you, you, you will really need to use the dotted line. Go and read the exchange rate on 15 January. I think I marked some of you. There are some of you who got this wrong. I think because the squares look very uh, small. Okay, so you need to read carefully to know the exchange rate. Okay, one pound is equivalent to 1.824 sing dollar. Okay, then part one is a simple reading. Part two is for you to convert the weekly accommodation to dollars. So her weekly accommodation is quite easy. Weekly accommodation is in pounds and she's supposed to convert. But because we do not, we do not know the exchange rate, so you actually got to create, use the relevant exchange rate to find out the greatest possible, that means the most expensive possible weekly accommodation or the, the least expensive one. So that's why we got to use the highest exchange rate and the lowest exchange rate. Okay, so I use the lowest one and I use the highest one. So that's how I use it to compare the difference. Okay, so that is the use of the exchange rate. That means because of the fluctuation, right? Sometimes it's not to the advantage of a foreign, of you studying in another country. So you, if you're going to overseas study, your cost of studying, right, is dependent on the exchange rate. So in this case, right, we work out the more pos the most expensive one. Uh, yeah, Minan, please go. And then the least expensive one. Okay, so this one later on, I will send it into the group chat. You don't have to worry about copying, more of understand the idea. So usually in a real world context, part one and part two are supposed to be easy. And part one and part two are supposed to lead you to the more difficult one. So in part one, you are taught to read the chart and subsequently, okay, also reading the chart and, and conversion. So that should help you in part B. I think Glenn, your part B is missing, right? Okay. So he, she has to tell her parents, right? To give her an allowance in Singapore dollar. 
her parents live in Singapore, so her parents will be paying her in Singapore dollar. So make sure her cost of accommodation, travel uh, is covered. Okay, and then right, her parents also want to ex, uh, add an extra 15%. So some of you may not have read this part. That means this 15% is just like extra money just to play safe. You know, sometimes you overspend a little bit. So she needs to tell her parents how much she need for the year. Okay, so this one looks quite easy, but then, right, you got to be careful. So I need to cover the accommodation. I need to cover the travel. I need to cover the living cost expenses. Some of you never write out, never labor. So you should have labored. So this is what I did. I labor the accommodation. So take a look. I labor the accommodation for a year. Okay, I make sure it's in pounds first. Okay, I also find the travel pass for a year. So I try to standardize everything to a year. Some of you may do it a different way. Some of you may do it for one month, then subsequently you multiply by 12. So for me, I'm doing it a different way. So for the living costs, I'm just like adding up for a week. And then from a week, I make it into a year. So <clears throat> there are three components, the accommodation, the travel, and the other expenses. So I go and add up. This is the amount in pound that I will need. So I add up the three category. Please label your category. So for a six marks question, if you don't labor, it's a bit difficult to give you method marks. So labor and you add in the 15%. So by the time you hit here, right, you are actually correct already. It's just that you got to decide the exchange rate. So that is how part two is supposed to help you. So this is your pound conversion. So you go and read the exchange rate take the highest and the lowest, just like in part two. Just like in part two, you take the highest and the lowest. So you also compare, take the highest and the lowest. So she should be asking her parents any amount between these two. She should be asking her parents any amount between 39,000 to 45,900. So you can suggest a, a suitable amount. Okay, it depends on how you want to decide. So uh, if I'm the parents, I may be suggesting I just might as well give a 46,000. So some of you may take the average. You can suggest the average in between these two. So you got to lay out to earn your six months. Like Janelle, you never labor your things. Okay, so you need to learn to labor. So this one will be a relatively easy real world context. It's a very, not very difficult. I think the one last year will be more difficult. So for those of you, if you have not done this, later on, please go and try this out to make sure that you can read for information.